How you doing? John Zimmerman, tabletclass.com, here to try to help you out with graphing lines in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so what you're given is the y-intercept and a slope. Okay, so y equals mx plus b. M is the slope, so this is my slope. And b is your y-intercept, and this is your y-intercept. Okay, so if you have a um, line in this uh, format, you can, you can graph it. Okay, it's actually pretty easy. Let me show you how. I'm only going to do this particular problem. I'll show you where we can get some more help, but hopefully this will be enough to get you going in the right direction. Okay, the first thing you want to do, the very first thing you want to do is plot the y-intercept. Okay, it's, it's really easy. This number right here is where the line will cross the y-axis. So it's, it's 5 on the y-axis. So just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so right there is where the line will cross the y-axis. So this is really, you know, pretty easy. I mean, uh, math doesn't get much easier than this. So if you understand that, you're halfway there. But we only have one point for this line. We need another point to actually get the graph. And that's where we're going to use the slope here. Okay, two-thirds. We're going to think of it as a kind of a set of driving directions, if you will, to get to another point. So two-thirds, how do I get to uh, my second point? Well, the slope, m equals two-thirds, remember, this is the rise over the run, okay? So in other words, the line is going to go up two. It's going to rise two for every three it goes out to the right, okay? So from my point five, if I just simply just go up two from there, one, two, I know my line has a rise of two up, three to the right. So if I just go up two and then go to the right, three, one, two, three, three, okay, this is my second point. Okay, this is my rise. Okay, this is my rise. Let's do it this way. And this is my run right here. Okay, so from that point, the y-intercept, 0, 5, okay, we use the uh, slope information to get to the second point, like a set of driving directions, and then we can just simply draw our line through the two dots, like connect the dots, and you're done. Okay, um, it gets a little bit, you know, not tricky, but there is a little bit of a twist on a negative slope. I don't want to get into that in this particular video, um, but I will leave you with this. If the slope was negative two-thirds, uh, let me just kind of help you out real quick. If the slope was negative two-thirds, instead of going up two and right three, on a negative slope, you go down two, okay? You're going to go down two and then right three. Okay, you're always going to end up going right when you're dealing with the slope, but if it's a negative slope, you go down and to the right. If it's a positive slope, you go up and to the right. Okay? All right. Let me go ahead and leave you with some important information. First of all, feel free to comment on this video, tabletclass.com, clear and understandable math, why we explain things in a way you'll actually get it. And we have a 30-day free trial. Love for you to come by and check us out. And good luck to yourself.